Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So, I can't remember exactly who told me about this place. It's either in Facebook or Instagram. I tried looking for the message and I apologize, I couldn't find and give credit to whoever told me about this place. And it's a place down near Denison, Minnesota, and you can actually find 450 million year old fossils down there. Now, there is gold all over Minnesota, and there's gold pretty much all over the Midwest, if you guys didn't already know. Glacial uh, deposits put gold all over the place. So, I mean, I could do a gold prospecting video in any of these states, but I thought it would be more interesting to do a fossil video here. So, um, I already bought my tickets. I'm flying out in about, I'm leaving in about a half hour. And, um, yeah, it's all about Ordovician fossils. There's all kind of cool stuff that we can find down near Denison, Minnesota. The weather is supposed to be snowy right. and windy. So you'll notice the windiest part of the day arrives Today. later on this afternoon once we get into the early yeah. afternoon. I'll be there later on this afternoon. So it's going to be really windy once we get there. But anyway, I'm looking forward to this trip and then tomorrow headed off to Wisconsin. So definitely check out that video and let's go over to Minnesota. I'll see you there. <laughs> we made it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No, that's cool. Look at this. All right, so that's what got my attention. Oh, it's a crinoid. Look, look. That's a shell. Oh, it's a brachiopod. All Dude. right. Hey, everybody. We are in Minnesota. You guys know Ryan from Stop. previous videos. So we just got here, and we came to this very unimpressive area behind us. We're like this little cutout on the side of the road. That's all it is. And Ryan just went over there and picked this up off the ground, and we actually found our first couple fossils here. You can see right here a little crinoid. Some little, uh, looks like a clam that's called a brachiopod. Yeah, man, that's pretty sweet. That whole thing is full of fossils. It's hundreds of millions of years old. Yeah, these are 450-ish million years yeah. old. Uh, it's called the Ordovician period. That's cool. We just found real fossils on the side of the road in yeah. Minnesota. Yeah, so we're just out here acting like complete nerds <laughs> and uh, finding fossils. We're in Wang's. We're, oh yeah, we're also in Wang's Corner, which is pretty much the coolest name for any town ever. <laughs> so uh, we're going to keep looking for fossils and um, yeah, wish us luck. I think we're, we're going to find some cool stuff. Awesome. All right. So you can see, it's, this is pretty much right off the side of the road. Very unimpressive, but this is it, man. Oh yeah, more crinoids. Seabed? Yeah. Basically? Yeah, so this was uh, at the bottom of the ocean back when this part of the world was, was near the equator. And then, oh wow. Every rock you pick up, you're gonna find stuff here. It's a little muddy. But yeah, this is this is good for anybody to come out here and what, what you got? Oh yeah, that's one of those um look at all these tiny little things everywhere, dude. Yeah, this is it's it's called a it starts with a B. I'll put the name of it down here. It looks like coral, but it's not actually coral. They are uh a coral-like animal. Is that part of a trilobite? Dude, that might be part of a trilobite right there. Oh my god, man. This is a rich area. Yeah, you can find those trilobites here. They're kind of rare, but you can find them. Oh man. Too bad it's it's like it's about to get dark, so. That's what they've been digging for. Yeah. Some people have been digging. They gold out here? No, they're digging for fossils. All right, well, we've been searching around for probably 10 minutes. We're kind of looking for uh, the holy grail here. That would be the trilobites. And Ryan thinks he found a piece of one on one of his rocks. That would be really cool. But either way, you can come out here and search around and find all kinds of stuff. Right here, we have an actual brachiopod fossil right there, kind of sticking out of the side of that rock. That's really neat. That's a keeper. Yeah, you could spend hours and hours out here just looking for fossils, and you're gonna find something. Pretty much every rock has some interesting stuff in it. 
So this area is actually older than the dinosaurs. This is the second light explosion of life after the Cambrian period, the Ordovician period. But this is like the second time life has occurred on Earth, as far as we know. And so that's how old this stuff is. It's older than the dinosaurs. Found some more crinoids here and some kind of a darker fossil there. Right there we have a modern day trilobite. That's one of those little pill bugs. But he's this one's not extinct. He's still uh, alive. So like a, a trilobite's kind of like a mix between one of these little roly-poly pill bugs here and like a horseshoe crab. Haven't found one yet though. All right, you can see here it's like it's really muddy and it goes back further there's like layers and you can get back in here and you can pull these things out nobody has ever touched this before it's been underground for hundreds of millions of years that's just that fact alone is pretty cool you never know what you're gonna find all right, so just picking around through the loose stuff on the top, on the surface here, I found this, kind of like a, kind of looks like a corn cob almost, but obviously it's, it's not. But that's a keeper, that's pretty cool. So much stuff. Yo, what is that? I don't know, it's like a corn cob from 500 million years ago? Like a I don't know. dinosaur tail. So, yeah, I don't know what that what that is. Wow, that is cool. I think I found a crinoid on its own right there. Nice. Yep, just a tiny circular thing. We'll show closer up pictures of this one when I get back to some better lighting and out of the road and everything. But we'll collect these up and bring them back. That's pretty neat. Yeah, there, there's stuff everywhere. Oh, look at that. Whoa. That's definitely... That's a crinoid. Oh yeah, that one's cool. Look at that. Whoa. I can't tell. Is this a? Oh, that totally is. That's totally. That's not wood. That's rock. That's fossil. Oh, that's tiny. Look at that. It's just like a tiny ring of rock that used to be a creature. Oh, wow. Oh, no way. Dude, did you find one of those coral looking things? Yeah. Nice, dude. That's a good find. Look at that. It was just sitting right on the surface. We're running out of daylight, but I think we found enough to give a good example of what you can find here. All right, so the sun has gone down and I'm out here continuing to look. And I noticed with a flashlight, you can really see stuff even better. All kinds of stuff kind of just appears out of nowhere. This piece right here, this is absolutely another crinoid fossil. This piece is just completely full of fossils. That is really neat. It looks like there's like scales on that, that piece right there. All right, so just scoping over this again with the flashlight. I'm seeing all kinds of little stuff here. There's a bryzoan right there. There's more. There's a brachiopod right there. This is cool. Oh, here's another one. Pretty much every stone you pick up is a fossil of some sort. There's another crinoid. Wow. All right, I'm done now. Let's go back, clean this stuff up, and, and get a closer look at it. All right, back in Colorado, under some better filming conditions, you can see I have collected a good amount of bryozoan fragments here. These are different brachiopods. These are stem column pieces from crinoids. So this one here is probably one of my favorites. This is a snail, an ancient snail or a gastropod. 
that is really good. Here's that corn cob looking piece. I think that's actually a cephalopod and even more pieces that are unidentified. Obviously, right here's a little crinoid and something else right here. And if I wet this piece down, right here, I think we have a piece of a trilobite right there. So there you go, for about a half hour's worth of picking around on the side of a road, we definitely had some fun out there and found all kinds of cool stuff. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up. If you want to see me do more videos in Minnesota, let me know what you want to see. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do that. I put out at least one new video every week. And that's all I got for today. Thanks for watching. If you're still here, you're one of the 42% that haven't left, so thanks so much. And also, big thanks to all my Major Credit Patreon supporters and channel members scrolling right there. And also, if you enjoyed this video, you're really going to like the other ones linked here, so definitely check those out, and I'll see you guys on the next video.